It was just like kill after kill after kill. Hi guys, I hope you're all very well. Um, I'm feeling much better, so I'm well. I hope you're well. I just finished watching Intruder, which is rated R, which I, I guess makes sense. Um, it's from 1989. <laughs> this is a slasher, right? It's a slasher about a supermarket, a local supermarket, um, that has a cashier who gets threatened by her ex-boyfriend and then they kind of push him out of the place and then he's trying to get back in and everyone starts dying. <laughs> um, so it's a slasher. Um, and it sounds really fucking boring and from the first five minutes I was like, where is this going? Why is someone like getting abused by their ex-boyfriend in a supermarket at the start of a horror movie? It just seemed very strange. Um, but I really fucking love this movie. It was really cool. It did the slasher genre justice and it just it kept delivering the whole time and I was not bored which slashes sometimes I get bored there's lots of like talky bits and like setup but the setup was so um small and, and just at the beginning that everything else it was just like kill after kill after kill um I thought the acting was fun it was just so different to what I thought and I, I really enjoyed this film. I'm really surprised. <laughs> Does that sound weird? It doesn't sound like a film I would love, but this has to be one of my favorite slashes now. I think this film was great and it's only got a 6.3, but I think it was, it was just so different. <laughs> it has a lot of cheesy things. The kills are great though. Um, great cherry blood kills, point of view shots, like peeping Tom shots with like heavy breathing. It has like punch sounds when people are fighting, like, you know, really silly ones. And it just is so cheesy, but also such a thrilling, fun film. And I don't know if I'm the only one, but I thought this film was fucking great. <laughs> uh, it also played on a lot of stereotypes with like dumb police uh, and then another cheesy but fun thing it did it was almost clever you know how I spoke about in Warlock or the Warlock they had like a wipe transition and this one they do smash cuts kind of um, where they're you know someone's about to die and then they're cutting open a watermelon and they just kept doing transitions like that but it didn't come across as cheesy just more creative and thoughtful the fun thing about this film is it also has a lot of actors that you might recognize but they're a bit younger in this film because it is late 80s um, and it's just a clever way to put this story together, simple story done in a really creative way and it goes from being kind of like a dangerous situation to a full-on slasher and I wasn't sure if it was going to get there because it did seem to take a little bit um, on the initial storyline like I said at the start but um, when it gets there it's just all kills, all creative, all fun, cherry blood, I know I've said that but I love the cherry blood in these kind of slashers all in one location, very simple to follow. Um, I'd recommend this movie if you're gonna watch a slasher with some friends, um, this is perfect. And I really hope you guys like this as much as me. Uh, and thank you Vanessa who recommended this. I didn't even see who recommended it until afterwards, obviously I saw it at the start. Um, and I feel like I'm almost cheating because if you guys don't know, Vanessa is Chaboski who has a YouTube channel, she's also a dear friend of mine, she's also a Patreon. So <laughs> I don't mean to pick favorites, but I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Please check this one out. It's very high up there on my list of the month. Tomorrow, I'll see you then. <laughs> and I think we've got four more movies to go, guys. Four? Oh my god. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I might be doing some pumpkin carving. So that might be a little bit more interesting than just me in front of some lights. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.